we're here with uh, Alan. He's our he's our preferred color mixer guy, and uh, I'm gonna ask him a few questions. First of all, how long have we? How long have I known you? I forget. Uh, could be uh, about 20 years, perhaps. Wow. Well, I mean, you're only like 35 years old, right? Uh, about that. Yeah. Yeah. He he's been making colors for us for a number of years, and I'm I want to ask you if someone brings you a color card from. Let's say Fair on Ball because they don't manufacture locally in Seattle, right. and a designer will bring a color. Take us through the process of how long it takes to do it, how hard it is, just so that everyone can get a sense and appreciate you better, Alan. Okay. Well, I um, take a look at the uh, the color, and uh, actually try to find something in our own fan deck that's reasonably close. Uh, I always use natural daylight. I have a door back there where I go and uh, compare the color in daylight, uh, make a, a judgment as to where the starting point is going to be on the color, and uh, just keep tweaking it until it's, it's correct. Tell us uh, what a tweak means. Tweak means uh, adding, adding color to uh, get it as close as I can to the color sample that's being matched. Um, Sometimes it's only two or three tweaks. Sometimes uh, it can take up to a dozen. Really depends on the complexity of the color. And, uh, and of course, which, that all that all takes time. And which colors are the hardest to do? Uh, for me, off whites. Off whites, yeah. Because um, there's, there's they're complicated, aren't they're they? Such small increments of color. And um, and naturally, I don't want to put in too much color and. and uh, uh, mistint the paint, so um, I'm always careful about that. Um, that would be the most difficult. Uh, I, I enjoy deeper colors. Uh, yeah. I, I like the challenge. Um, and yeah, it depends uh, who I'm doing the match for. If it's uh, for a designer, typically they're very critical of colors, and uh, they will inspect them under their lights and uh, take a long time uh, judging the color. Would you say that sheer painting is pretty critical? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Um, how many but color, it, but, how but many, in a good sense. How many color matches have you done for us in the last uh, four days? I would say at l over a dozen. <sighs> Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Here's a little interview with Alan because I want my customers to understand and appreciate that it's not easy to match a color. For example, if uh, one of the new color CSP color stories palette <clears throat> is specced out for, let's say, an industrial product P40, 100% uh, solids, uh, floor epoxy, in, in a color stories, it has to be matched because the color stories palette was designed for the Aura Gen X. In an ironic twist, Alan used to take Benjamin Moore colors and match it to a Maritone at Daly's. Put your hand over your heart.